Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you how I go through my morning routine mindfully. One of the first things that I do that really helps me become more mindful in my morning routine is not looking at my phone as soon as I get up in the morning and even throughout my entire morning routine. This helps me become more present within my morning and to take things really slow and at my own pace. Here you can see that I'm just washing my face to kind of help me wake up and then brushing my teeth. These are just normal basic things that I do or that you can do in the morning, but just trying to remain present the entire time. Becoming mindful in the morning has really helped me become aware that I really need to hydrate after a long night of sleeping, and drinking a glass of water has really been refreshing and is also another really good way to wake up your body in the morning. So after I'm done drinking water, I will typically refill my glass and then just bring it over to the living room where I will continue my morning routine. This is where I also become very aware of how stiff my body is from a long night of laying down. And this is when I really like to take the time to do some movement. I love to change up how I move my body each month depending on how I'm feeling, how the weather is like, um, just to kind of keep things interesting and make it fun and exciting for me to get out of bed in the morning. But this month I'm doing a 30 day yoga challenge and I currently am following Yoga with Adrian on YouTube. I've been really enjoying my mornings a lot more because I've been really taking my time going through each step of my routine with mindfulness and not just rushing through it, but really staying present within each part of my morning routine. The next part of my morning routine that I really like to do is write things down, whatever I'm feeling or if I'm just observing my mood and really just acknowledging it. Sometimes I will have a lot to say, sometimes I don't, sometimes I'll write down the dreams that I had the night before, or sometimes if I really don't have anything to say, I take a moment just to write things that I'm grateful for. Doing this has really helped me stay in tune with my feelings and my intuition. Now, the next thing that I do actually does require me to be on my phone, but I'll typically go on YouTube and search up affirmation videos to listen to. Typically, I will do the search the previous night so I'm not getting too caught up on my phone, and this morning I'm listening to Lior Alexandra's affirmation videos, so I'll just put on my AirPods and listen to this while I'm making my coffee which is always so nice and relaxing. Listening to affirmation videos regularly does help you become more mindful of your thoughts and the things around you.
little part of my morning, which is just really just enjoying my coffee, but also really just checking in with what my day looks like. By this time, my vi affirmation video has finished, so it's pretty quiet and peaceful when I am looking at my calendar or just planning out my day for the day. Um, and then when I'm done, I'm really able just to enjoy my coffee and be present before my fiance and my pup wake up and begin their day. I really hope that this video inspires you in some way to create more of a mindful morning within your day. And until then, I will see you in my next video. Bye!